What is up, YouTube and Blue Bomber fans? Grizzly Gamer here, and today I got some cool Mega Man stuff I want to show off. And as you guys know, or have been paying attention to, Mega Man 11 was released on the Xbox One, the PS4, and the Nintendo Switch yesterday, October 2nd. Now, I picked up one of my copies at GameStop the day before, I believe at around 9. 9 o'clock Mountain Standard, man. Yeah. yeah. And then I received the actual copy from Amazon the following day. I have played it a little bit, and it's actually quite good. There's a couple complaints I have, but overall it's pretty good. Um, I do have one other thing that isn't Mega Man related, but I wanted to show off anyway. And it's this guy right here. It is the, uh, it's a Super Metroid cartridge that is, that you can basically mount and it just sits on your wall. So you'll see the little brackets on the back there, yeah. yeah. There was a shirt in here, but we took it out. You want to show them how it opens? Yeah. So they made it with these little clips. So you can actually put stuff in there as well. If you want. A little secret stash area. Alright, then we'll get to the Mega Man 11 stuff. This is the obviously the game. Now, I have Splatoon 2 in here, but that's because the game is already in my Switch. I've already played it again. It, it's quite good. I mean, the other installments are a little are better, but the graphics are actually amazing. The sound, it, the talking is a major complaint I have, but other than that, solid game. You're going to do a separate review of the, vi of the game, right? Yeah. Yeah, I plan on doing a separate review sometime in the future. Then... We got a book, the uh, Mega Man 11 Strategy Guide slash 30 year anniversary book of Mega Man. Now, at the at the 9 o'clock release, there were only two of these. I was second in line, so I was lucky enough to get my, my hands on one. So, it was pretty cool. Um, if you flip it over again, can you bring it up here? Yeah. It comes with, if you see that little poster on the back, it comes with a limited edition numbered poster in like a protective sleeve, so that's really cool. Um, exclusive maps for Mega Man 11, the strategy guide, like he said, and then a bunch of other exclusive stuff like Mega Man 2, and artwork from fans and stuff, so that's really cool. The book runs you about, what was it, 39 dollars Yeah. Yeah, so about 40 bucks. It's, it's actually more expensive than the game itself, but it's a really cool book. And I'm assuming since there's a limited edition on the artwork, there's probably a limited edition number of books that they ran. Probably. It would only make sense. And last but not least, we have the Amiibo Edition Mega Man 11. Now, I had already pre-ordered my, my game at Amazon long before this was announced. And Now, I did place a pre-order for Mega Man 11 at GameStop beforehand. And if they didn't have a collector's edition, I initially was going to cancel the pre-order. But once they announced the Amiibo edition, or collector's edition, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll keep it. And I'll keep this Amiibo well, edition Well, he upgraded sealed. his regular edition to an Amiibo. Yeah, basically. So, so, I'll keep this sealed. This could be, this does have the potential to be a collector's item. It also has the potential to go down in price. I don't know if you saw that, but... Yeah, it has a little ding on it. It's because they sometimes they put the plastic wrap on too tight and it causes a little bit of damage. Uh, this part's in amazing condition. So is the front. But remember what I told you yeah. about that side? They put the plastic wrap on it. seems like that side's just a little too tight and it kind of is bending the box. That's the only issue I have with plastic wrap. Sometimes it's better just to remove it because it does end up damaging it further. Yeah, so... It's kind of one of those Comment things. below, should I keep this seal or should I just get rid of the plastic? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, there I mean, you're never going to sell it, so it doesn't really matter well, either yeah. way. Well, obviously not. It's Mega Man. <laughs> I paid about $60. Um, and I did that because, again, it was Mega Man. I don't really have a lot of collector's items for the Mega Man franchise. And I refuse to pay scalper prices. People are already charging like 120 150 it's fucking ridiculous. But, uh, there's also another thing for Mega Man, 30th Anniversary. They have, like, special, uh, 30, 30th Anniversary cartridges for Mega Man 2 and Mega Man X, two of the best games of the franchise. You can either get, like, a blue cartridge or a 
white cartridge. Uh, Batman... For two, it's either a... No, uh, which one is the one you want? Mega Man X. For Mega Man X, you either get a white cartridge or a glow-in-the-dark blue one. The, yeah, and for Mega Man 2, it's either like a baby blue, which is just the standard, or a glow-in-the-dark navy blue. That's the limited edition. They're both blue for Mega Man 2 for whatever reason. Well, yeah, Mega Man's blue, so... No, but I'm just saying, they, that's why people were getting confused. Like, some people thought they got the limited edition. Yeah. I was looking at a couple of YouTube videos. Because 2, all of them are blue. You just have to get the darker blue to get the limited edition. The one that's going to be harder to get now... I want the Mega Man X, because that's one of my favorite games of all time. I wish it was Mega Man X 2, because that's definitely my favorite game of all time. For the Mega, Mega Man, Man franchise? Yeah. Mega Man X is top 20, but Mega Man X 2 is numero uno. So... I'll stick with X, since that's the closest to X2 I'll get. I want to get the glow-in-the-dark, but if I get a like a blue cartridge, that's just as good. We only get the blue for Mega Man 2. Yeah. Mega Man... Or the white. Or... X will be white, yeah. yeah. If I get the white, that's totally fine. I just want to get one of these. It's limited to 8500 so... They run you about $100 each, by the yeah. way. I, I just want to let them know. Yeah. I was going to get it earlier so I could show it in the video, but... The money wasn't there, so unfortunately I had to let it pass. Hopefully when I do come... We get come, paid this week, yeah. so he's hoping there's still some available. If there isn't, well, I'm either going to have to A, pay scalper prices, which I refuse to do, or wait for the price to go down. Wait for it to like actually establish a price. But be again, because it's Mega Man, and Mega Man games do get very expensive, uh, I can go both ways. Anyway, that's it for this video. Anybody that has played Mega Man 11, what do you think of the game? Do you agree with me? Do you think the voice should just completely go away? Do you think it was not necessary at all? Or are you guys okay with the voice? I, pers I personally come from a uh, childhood where Mega Man didn't talk, so... This and is kind of like the uh, Tom and Jerry debate. When Tom and Jerry started talking, like people were like... Eh. Yeah, that's a great example, actually. Um, anyway, so with that in mind, as always, keep that collection growing, stay positive, and as always, stay the fuck away from scalpers. Grizzly Gamer, signing out.